anyways, it is a cold, gray, gloomy day. Hearing the collapse of global industrial civilization on this. Yuck. It is a Monday, I believe, October 17th, 2022, somewhere in there. So, uh, I just, uh, just, I have nothing else to do. I'm just doing a, trying something new, and we're going to try some little short snippets of collapse. I've done my, uh, I just did my full chronicle of the collapse uh, about uh, our green resource wars looming. Uh, <laughs> And I meant to uh, mention this hilarious article. I'm, man, you guys keep me full of so much doom and gloom. Can't remember which one of my alert uh, listeners sent this to me. Uh, coming from Australia out of the Sydney Morning Herald talking uh, about how the Australian mining industry is stepping up to save the planet. Uh, not going to read this whole thing, but I just enjoyed a few of these snippets. Climate change and renewables driving new mining boom, mining chief says. And there you go. So uh, this it, it, this is a new sustainable mining boom. Uh, saving the planet. Uh, the mining industry says mining has a long, ro long role to play in the country. Do you think so? Speaking ahead of the International Mining and Resource Conference on Tuesday, International Council on Mining and Metals CEO Tom Butler uh, told Fairfax Media that mining and a carbon price are both needed to achieve the IPCC's climate goals. Yes, mining uh, is needed, which is true. That mining, a, a huge increase of mining is needed to achieve the IPCC's climate goals, supporting a renewable energy boom that will drive more mining. Hmm. Quoting Mr. Butler, quote, our materials will be critical to enabling the decarbonization of the planet. The mining sector has a critical role to play in the sustainability effort. Yes, the mining sector has a critical role to play in the sustainability effort. We can choose whether to be a leader or a follower in that. Yes. Uh, as I was just talking about in the in, in the upcoming resource wars rant, he said that in order to achieve the two degree Celsius, uh, they're calling it a two degree Celsius reduction in global temperatures. I I, I think they meant to say the two degree Celsius target. But even the, 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 you know, the Sydney Herald does not understand this. Uh, whichever one it is, the world will need more copper and lithium, not to mention cobalt and nickel, to support renewable technologies. Quoting Mr. Butler, if we are to achieve two degrees C, we will need around 20 million tons more copper and around 10 times the amount of lithium for batteries 
then is currently mined to supply demand. And that number is not including electric vehicles, close quote, which was the center of the story on these resource wars that I covered in another uh, in another rant. Minerals Council of Australia Chief Executive Tanya Constable refuted claims the mining industry was in denial over climate change. and said Australian coal could play a role in addressing it. There you go. Anyway, quote, I don't think there are companies, meaning coal mining companies, that are climate change deniers, and they understand the risk of it to industry. While a value on carbon is important, you have to take multiple avenues, uh, and one single way is not the best way to address it, I'm sure. Uh, her statement comes as the mining industry highlights its alignment. The mining industry's alignment with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, a series of global aspirations to improve society and environmental conservation over you know over this decade there you go we need more mining as part of the united nations sustainable development goals yes in the report commissioned by the minerals council of australia it examined how australia's mining industry was promoting gender equality, mm -hmm. education, economic growth, and water and environmental conservation. Yes. Uh, said Ms. Constable, quote, this report is the first step in our work to further understand listen and import how Australia's minerals sector works to support strong, resilient, and inclusive commodities across the country. And if there's anybody who wants to see a, uh, wants to see a uh, photograph of uh, the Australian mining sector. Uh, I don't know what kind of mine in Australia this is, but you better believe if you can see that with the glare in the window, probably can't see it, but I think you have a pretty good idea what it looks like. But anyway, I might come back with a couple of more Snippets of Collapse coming up.